Very good afternoon. Luckily, it's a sunny outside. Yeah, after two, three days rain. Yeah, it's good. Anyways, uh, today uh, we have some interesting job. The Dell, uh, I hope you can see the number, Dell Inspiron 15, uh, 15 and 3000 model number. The interesting fault is, let me show you, just turn off this, my LED light, and then I'll show you here. Okay, in this screen, you see the bubbles are there, and it will screen not working at all. No mouse, no pad, nothing, you know. It stopped working and the bubbles moving around on the screen. This is not a screen saver. <laughs> yeah, just remember that. It have a screen issue. It's some weird problem, but there is. Sometimes it happens. The bubbles comes up and mostly happen with a sensitive uh, laptop like the touch screen of panels. So that's uh, when the touchscreen panel stops working or the liquid goes inside somewhere, somehow, or maybe some kind of humidity, you know, because of rains was there, or maybe there is something. But there is, this is the main reason it will happening with this, and it stopped working, like the mouse pad didn't work, you cannot type anything, and the screen touch also stopped working. So what is the solution? The solution is two solutions. Either you have to change the touch screen panel, which is expensive as well, or you have to change the screen. And uh, the touch screen itself expensive. So if you want to do some budget in budget replacement, so you just replace this one to a normal screen, which works again perfectly. So this is the, uh, the customer wanted for this laptop to so remove the screen and try to put a new screen, but without touch. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, so we can fix this issue and the customer can be use this laptop more. Okay, let me begin the job. So first of all, turn off the, shut it down, but the shut it down also not working because uh, it's not working so I have to force and shut it down so at least and just try to see if there is a removable battery no there is no removable battery so we have to be careful because the points are still there normally there's a locks in the screen So careful. Be careful here because there's a main screen panel here. There you go. So what's here? I'll show you. The locks are here basically. In this, uh, I'll show you this way. You just realize there's the locks are there. See, this is all locks. You can take it out with your big nail, or if you have, otherwise you have to do with the with the clipper. And there's the tape also there, so be careful with the tape as well. It should be good. Okay. Now the next we have to change the screen panel from here. Okay. 
nicely take it out the screen from the top. So carefully just take it out like this and there is the screen jack. So there's a lock in the both sides, so careful with the lock because locks are sensitive. A you see, uh, yeah, this is called a secured lock. If you just can see that, uh, see that is a secured lock here. That's the something you know, kind of holding that lock. So, anyways, the screen is here. Okay. See, there is some issue with this, it's all messy. Anyways, let me grab the new screen and come back. Okay, so uh, the fresh new screen, look at the glass. Oh my god, it's just shining perfect. You can see my face even in this. And we just try to plug in. Careful with the lock, so I have to put it back nicely and be gentle with this lock because this is critically sensitive. Okay. the screws After the screws, just put the, uh, the cover nicely back.
Okay, let's try. Hello. Okay, I'll be back. Just kidding. okay, guys. So we'll just turn it on and see how the behavior is. Okay. Okay, now. Starting with all of the user information, I don't want to show you guys. Uh, okay, in the password I have to be entered. So the system is working, excellent, everything is perfect, touch is working fine, good, okay, just move my camera. So that's the way how you replace the screen, I mean it's, it's not a big, a tough job, you can at your home if you want, if you want to learn, yes there is an option, how you have to do that. Step by step, buy the screen, the similar model number, similar pin number because each screen at the back, they have their own pins. Uh, the jack which is connected with the motherboard, so be careful with that. Uh, just open the screen and check the, the how many pins are, 30 pin, 40 pin, whatever it is. And it's on the left side or right side because the jack have to be moved on. So you should have a flexibility sometime you get it. The cheaper one in the marketplace or market or Amazon or Best Buy, whatever it is. But what happened, you know, when you bought it and the jack is on opposite direction, the cable will not go there. So then you need an extender to go there. That's a different. Extended your job again. Anyway, so I hope you like the video. Like it and share it. Yes. <laughs> Maybe somebody needs this help and they want to do their own. They don't have uh, any technician close by, so they can order new screen and they can change their own set of things. Take care of yourself. Until next video. Bye-bye.